Hello and welcome to Point of View. We finally have the docking confirmation, China's Shenzhou 16 spaceship, with three astronauts aboard. Docked with the country's space station combination, up for 29 p.m. Beijing time on Tuesday, finishing another important step of the country's latest manned space mission. It took six autonomous orbit adjustments and about six and a half hours to complete the autonomous blazing fast docking PR. OSIS, this was the most difficult docking to date. Shenzhou 16's docking with the China Space Station was harder than previous missions because of the station's colossal size and mass, which exceeded 100 metric tons. This is the first time China performed radio docking after the T-shaped station was assembled. They had to add new dampers to reduce the impact on both the spaceship and the station. They also upgraded the craft's light sensors, as the giant space station blocked too much sunlight, making it more difficult for the craft to determine the position of the space station's dock. The new sensors have improved abilities to recognize targets. They can tell if an object is the target or just an obstacle blocking the way. There were multiple fallback plans. With all the improved parts and technologies, the Shenzhou 16 spaceship is still not perfect. The Chinese space engineers made multiple fallback plans to protect the Taikonauts in case serious issues see. Rocked up if the rocket fails. The automatic escape system in the spaceship will be activated and bring the Taikonauts back to the ground safely. They can also use emergency returning if the spaceship springs a leak. Multiple navigation systems help ensure the spaceship knows precisely where the dock is. There are two systems for positioning, the Beidou satellites and microwave radars. The Beidou system has a machina and a machine bee that are hot backups of each other if one breaks. The other can continue working, Shenzhou 16's docking with the China space station was automatic without human intervention, if the process had failed, there was a plan B. The ground station team could switch to manual docking and ask the Taikonauts to finish the process, the two processes are completely independent of each other. That's a wrap thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.